Hey guys, I know a lot of you always ask me about my setup, what kind of icon packs I'm using, what launchers and what wallpapers. So I thought I'd make a version two of my setup video, which is right here. So I'm going to show you how you can set up your device to look like my device right now if you want to do that. Now, I'm, I'm going to try and put all the links I can in the description. So I'm going to put a link to this wallpaper. I'm going to put a link to this launcher that I'm using and the icon pack as well, which is pretty much all of what you'll need to make this look like mine looks right here. So here we go, and the first thing you'll need to get this look is a customizable launcher. Now, I use Apex. Again, I'll put the links in the description. I don't really know why I use Apex. I installed it one day, I set it all up, and I just really like it. You know, It does everything that I need it to do. Everyone always comes to me and says there's better launchers. Yeah, there may well be, but Apex just suits my needs, and it's fine for me, so I use Apex. If I dive into the settings here, you can see what I've changed. So if we go into home screen, I've changed the portrait grid to uh, 6x6. I think the default is 4x4, but 6x6 allows you to have a, a few more icons on the screen than normal. You can make it 7x7, but I don't know, I just like 6x6. Landscape is 10x10. Again, I've made that quite a lot bigger, but I don't actually use it in landscape mode, so it's pretty useless. In terms of icon size, it's 100% pretty standard. You can make it smaller or bigger by dragging that up and, or down. Manage screens, this allows you to delete or add home screens. You can see I've only actually got three home screens and that's just because that's all I use. So I managed to fit everything I need straight on those home screens. Everything else is uh, just used in apps. So we'll jump back into the Apex settings here, see what else I've changed. Uh, infinite scrolling is off, elastic scrolling is disabled. Transition effect, I've actually got none. I just feel like it makes it, well, it feels quicker not having a transition between the home screens. It's just very quick, very fluid and very clean. I prefer that over having a transition right now anyway you know tomorrow my mood might change who knows that's the greatest thing about the customizing customization customizing on uh, android and here we go minimum scrolling time you can change that i haven't show wallpaper show indicator i've got on fade indicator i've got on as well search uh, bar style i've got jelly bean but it doesn't matter because i actually uh, deleted that you can see show persistent search bar i've got it to show never so uh, yeah that's pretty much what you need to do in the uh, home screen settings. Now, before I go into the drawer, I just want to show you my drawer. You can see it here. I've got quite a few apps per row and column, a lot more than stock. And I just prefer it this way because you get more apps on your screen. You can see more of what's going on. You don't have to keep turning pages. I've, I've got quite a lot of apps on here, but I've only got three pages. And that's due to this customization. So if we jump back into Apex, go into the drawer, you've got hidden apps. I do obviously hide some apps as well. You can see there's there like the apex i don't want to see that and you know some other crap in here and what really matters is your portrait grid size and landscape well the landscape doesn't really matter if you don't use it but portrait grid i've got six by six again i think it's four by four if you change it to like nine by nine it becomes ridiculous and it's just too much i'll show you nine by nine it has to restart the launcher and then boom it just got ridiculous in here you know there's like two pages but it's just too cloud for me so i prefer six by six so we'll just dive back into that boom six six done um scrolling effect in the uh app drawer i've actually got cube in you've got loads of different ones but i prefer cube in for that i don't know why just do and everything else is pretty much standard moving on to my dock settings i only have one page for my dock because i don't like having loads of pages i don't like scrolling through my dock what i do have though is seven icons in my dock and you can see here that's the maximum you can have i think I, I can't even remember what the default is but you can see my dock right here it's pretty crowded but i prefer it like that because i just get all my important apps that i need right there like gmail youtube the dialer the whatsapp chrome and the camera is right there i don't have to go searching for it it's always there so i prefer it like that but again it's just down to your choice but if you want it to look like mine that is how i have it everything else is pretty much standard here i haven't changed any other settings my folder settings i have changed those i've got a different folder background i'll go with the ios background right there and the folder preview i go with grid that's just my preference icon size as well i don't change it now, in terms of these awesome app icons, this is where you have to go ahead and spend some money. Now, it's called Minimal UI. It's in the Play Store. It is a small fee, but it's an awesome app, and it's always getting updated with new features and new shit. It's pretty awesome. So to apply this, you have to actually have to have a custom launcher or a custom ROM that supports it. Go to Theme Settings, and you can see once you've installed it, it will be there, Minimal UI. You can see I've got Minimal My UI as well. That's what it used to be called. And I actually have to, I, I had to buy this twice, which was kind of annoying, but nonetheless, who cares? There's my uh, Minimal UI. 
kind of cool actually because it comes with if i just show you it comes with loads of its own wallpapers which are quite nice you know i use them sometimes but right now i'm using this wallpaper and i like this wallpaper because it kind of pops off the screen and all that stuff so those are my app icons and you can just see how i've got it arranged here you know this is pretty standard stuff i just arrange them you can just drop and drag i like having them in a little square i don't know why it just looks kind of cool in terms of the page over here i've got some apps up here i've got my tv catch up my prefmon my google drive dropbox this widget over here is just a voucher cloud it gives you my uh, offers in my area and this widget down here is android central so you can go ahead and download the app pretty awesome for android news it uh, refreshes on its own stuff like that my third page is just a row of apps i don't know why it's just my secondary apps that i kind of use but not all the time sometimes i have a widget in here but right now i don't um in terms of my notifications let's just drag these down everyone always asks me what this notification is right here and it's lux now i actually use the uh, automatic brightness the uh, default automatic brightness settings for lux but it's really awesome and the reason is if i just go into the actual uh, settings right here we can see what it allows you to do. Now, why I actually like Lux is because I have this option open right here, adjust on wake only. So it only changes my brightness when I turn the screen on, then it doesn't adjust it anymore. So it kind of saves a lot of battery, but it still works as well as automatic brightness. So uh, that's kind of cool. It's definitely worth trying out if you haven't tried out Lux before. I'm just gonna turn this down a bit because it makes it easier to see for my camera. But uh, that's Lux, this other widget, or well, this other notification right here at the top is system tuner it just shows me my cpu temperature right now it's at 31 degrees which is actually pretty decent for a cpu temperature usually it idles around 40 so uh that's pretty good and obviously down here is my google now showing mostly cloudy and you can see i am running a custom rom i've got my uh, paranoid android halo right here which i haven't activated just now but uh that's what i'm running you can also see in my status bar, I've got that circle mod showing my battery. That is included in the Paranoid Android Custom ROM. So that's not a feature on the launcher. That is something I've added. But um, yeah, that's basically it. That's how, as far as it goes to setting up my stuff. You know, I haven't changed anything else really. In terms of the apps that I use, I, I use loads of different ones. I've got Beach Buggy Blitz, which is an awesome game, by the way. Through, I've got loads of benchmarks here, loads of different browsers, hardly use any of them. You know, Franco, Facebook, Dropbox, Drive, all the standard apps that you have, Google Hangouts as well. You know, apps are just what you want to use. So I'm not really going to go through my apps, but that is pretty much how you set up your device to look like this device. So uh, I'll try and put as many links as I can in the description if you want to go ahead and make it look like this. But uh, yeah.